Hello everyone! Have you ever wondered why no one has invented a perpetual motion machine? Everyone talks about it, everyone knows about it, but not one scientist has managed to create such a machine. Just imagine an eternal source of energy that will allow humans to stop worrying about electricity or having to refuel their cars every day. So why hasn't it been invented yet? The answer is because it's not as easy as it seems. The first plan to create a perpetual motion machine goes way back to the year 1159. Indian mathematician Bhaskara II oh. drew a hypothetical wheel with curved or tilted spokes, partially filled with mercury. Once in motion, the mercury would flow from one side to the other. This would make one side of the wheel heavier, forcing it to move endlessly. It sounds pretty cool, but the mathematician wasn't successful. Many people uh -huh. tried to create similar devices throughout history. Some replaced the mercury with little spheres, while others tried to create hmm. self-filling vessels in which the liquid would move by itself without external help. And some tried to defeat gravity using magnets. Some scientists even declared that they had finally built perpetual motion machines, but they were either charlatans or made mistakes along the way. Long story short, there were many people who wanted to create a perpetual motion machine, but their ideas failed when faced against real life. And the main reason is that the very existence of a perpetual motion machine violates either the first law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics, or both. First of all, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. In other words, a device can't move by itself, it needs a boost. For example, in the case of the engines found in modern vehicles, this boost comes from fuel. Meanwhile, an electrical engine uses electricity and a steam engine needs wood. The second reason is that any device will waste some energy because of external factors. For example, the device has to overcome wind force, gravity, or simply friction between its details. This means that even if it works for a long time, it will end up stopping at some point if it doesn't receive new energy from outside. Nevertheless, ah. scientists keep trying to find new ways to make this sensational discovery. Moreover, some conspiracy theorists believe that some great scientists have managed to create perpetual motion machines, but they've died or disappeared under mysterious circumstances. This includes famous geniuses like Nikola Tesla, Richard Klim, Rudolf Diesel, and many others. On top of that, all their blueprints and creations have been lost forever. But who's behind all this? Conspiracy theorists believe that this is the work of oil tycoons and world leaders because an alternative fuel is not profitable for them. But the idea of a perpetual motion machine is still very popular. Even today, many people keep trying to create one, from brilliant inventors to curious school kids. Who knows, maybe humanity will find a way to defy the laws of physics, and maybe the person behind the first perpetual motion machine is already walking among us. Maybe you saw them on the street once and didn't suspect that they'll have a brilliant future. So tell us if you ever tried to create a perpetual motion machine or some similar machine with your own hands. The best comment could be featured in the next video. And don't forget to give us a like. This was the channel True Story. See you next week.